Hey there, I'm David. I am a teacher of computer science and I occasionally like to make quick videos or tutorials of digital tools, workflows, integrations on everything from creating your blog to um, teaching, you know, tools for educators. Uh, this video is a short one. If you, if you have a blog or are trying to build an audience, uh, we're going to look at how to add a Substack signup form to your WordPress page. If you haven't heard of Substack or haven't used it, uh, it's a great, super intuitive platform for writers looking to build their audience and offers tools for paid content and uh, for uh, your audience to kind of pay for premium content, uh, primarily through the form of email newsletters. So it's common uh, though for writers to offer their newsletters for free, especially um, kind of at the early stages to really kind of build up that audience using the Substack platform. Um, what I really like about Substack is it removes a lot of the friction between you and publishing content. Uh, it's really not that difficult to, you're really not doing any editing or um, customization kind of on the design side. It's really just uh, creating the content and um, pushing it out to your audience as quickly and efficiently as possible. Um, so for most people trying to build an audience, you probably have your content on multiple platforms. Uh, like WordPress or Medium or a custom site. Uh, and if you're still publishing to one of these, we're gonna take a look at um, adding a Substack form um, once you've created an account and um, how to add that to, in this case, WordPress. But uh, the process is pretty similar whether you're adding it to another site. Um, not, I don't think it works on Medium, but it does work You know, if you have a custom URL. So, um, in the, so we're just gonna use this uh, site that I'm working on called the Teacher's Operating System. Uh, this is just a website I'm working on to create uh, tools and tips for um, teachers and educators uh, to just work more, more effectively and more um, efficiently. So the two sites that you're gonna be, you're gonna have open are your WordPress dashboard and your Substack um, settings page. So if I'm already logged into WordPress, I'm going to uh, navigate to the dashboard here to get this page opened up. And uh, the Substack page, so this is kind of the home page for Substack when you're already logged in. And uh, once you create um, a page, it should show up on the left hand side. So we can open that up. There's no content here yet, relatively new, just set this up today. And if we go to our dashboard, then we can check out settings. And here's basically where we're kind of customizing um, our newsletter. So if you scroll down a little bit to um, import your email list, here uh, we're getting this iframe that we're gonna use to add into our WordPress page. So we're gonna copy this. This has some kind of standard formatting, but we'll also make a few edits to the look of the, of the signup form. So we're gonna copy that. And then in our dashboard, I'm gonna head over to pages. And also a brand new website. We're gonna go to edit. If you haven't been on WordPress in a while, the interface has uh, evolved quite a bit over the past couple of years, but uh, definitely pretty intuitive. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is scroll to the area <clears throat> that you're trying to add the signup form. So if you click on this add button on the left, on the top left, and we're going to scroll to design and add row. And here we can kind of move this row wherever we need to um, and also change things like the width and um, alignment. So we're going to set this to vertically align. You can see you can set it to full width. Um, you can set it to wide. So we'll leave it at wide for now and 100%. And then inside this uh, row, we're going to click on add block and custom HTML. 
You can also find that same button on the left side uh, menu. So in this section, you're gonna add that same code that you copied from Substack into here. And just one quick change you wanna make is the width. You wanna set this to 100% if you wanna make the sign up form full width. And to preview, you can see what this is gonna look like um, before you publish. Uh, and we can also see it in that preview tab. If we open a new tab and scroll down to the bottom and we see that sign up form um, as how it would look when it's published. Um, other things like changing the background color, things like that, you would change within Substack before bringing in the iframe. And um, also things like the width, um, any extra padding you can change in the HTML as well. So that's just a quick overview of how to add a Substack signup form to a WordPress page. Hopefully it's useful. Hopefully you're growing your audience uh, using both and ideally uh, eventually getting some, some paid users and audiences to your newsletters and to your writing. So hope that's helpful.